In this video, I'm going to show you how to create what a lot of successful publishers on Amazon have, and that is a logo for your KDP book brand. And I'm going to show you how to do this pretty fast and pretty cheap using AI. And why would you want a logo in the first place? Well, it looks professional, it looks attractive, and it helps convey a message for your brand. And you can use this in a number of places, including your Amazon Author Central page, in your Amazon A plus content. And if you're not creating that already, I recommend that you seriously look into it because it's a great place to showcase your book covers in more detail, but more importantly, the interiors of your books, especially if you're creating low content books. You can also use your logo on web properties like social media, or if you've got a website, you can put it in the, in the banner. And also, and this is somewhere where I've used my logo, that is on the back cover of your books. It just helps, as I said, create that professional look and can help you at the end of the day, get more sales. So what are you waiting for? Let's get straight into it. So we're going to be using mid journey and I've covered this in previous videos. Now, in order to get something decent out of AI, it depends on what we put into it. And that is our prompt. So here, first up, I've just put in a very basic prompt, flat vector logo, book brand. And we've got this here, which to be honest, doesn't look very good. So we need to work on this a little. So I went one step further and put in flat vector logo, followed by kids puzzle book. And we've got this again. Some of you might like that, but I think we can do a lot better. So our prompt is going to be made up of three parts. Here you can see we've got flat vector logo. So this is a style followed by the word logo, followed by the subject. So here I've put in flat vector logo, wolf face. And now we're starting to get something a bit more specific and that looks a lot better. And as I said, our prompt is in three parts and our third part would be to add in the color. So if you wanted a particular color scheme and not let mid journey decide on our color scheme, we could add that is as an extra. So here we've got flat vector logo, wolf face, and this time I've put in orange and again, similar images, but obviously different color. So our prompt, as I said, is going to be made up of three parts the style, which we can change, followed by the word logo, followed by the subject or keyword or a theme that relates to our brand. So it could be a type of books. You might be, you know, creating kids books or outdoor related books and so on, followed by the color. Now we can choose to omit this if we want mid journey to decide on our colors. But if we are looking at a brand with a particular color scheme, I mean, we may want to add that in there. So here's an example of this. So this time I put in Synthwave logo, wolf face with mountains behind. And here you can see we're starting to get things that look a lot more stunning. And I love these images. I love the color schemes here. I've changed the style this time to vintage and kept the same subject. And again, these look fantastic. I particularly love this one here in the top right. So using that vintage style, this time I changed the subject, which was camper van with mountains behind. And again, these look good. However, all of them have got words. Now, AI isn't very good at adding words to images, but don't worry because I'm going to show you how we can remove these words very easily. And also just be aware that AI doesn't add in trademarked brand logos like you can see down here in the bottom left picture because they could lead you uh, into trouble. But again, these are easily changed and removed with the technique I'm going to show you in a moment. So on that vintage outdoorsy theme, this time I've kept the vintage logo, but put in backpacker with mountains behind. Again, I love these top two here. So you're starting to get a feel of the type of things we can do here. I put in retro logo, wolf face, green, orange, brown. This time change the style to lithographic logo. And again, this has a bit of a vintage effect. Love this one bottom left. Here we've got the Japanese style logo, floral, pale pink, white, pale blue. And lastly, just as a quick example here, I've put in the style of pop art, this time a lion's face. And again, these just look fantastic. So here I've come up with a list of different styles that you can use that work very well for creating logos. So you could pause the video here and just take a screenshot of this. So you can see the flat vector one that we've already used, the Japanese style, synthwave, pop art, and you've got all these that you can experiment 
experiment with. And that's the important thing. With these type of things, it's a creative process. You need to experiment, try different mixtures, different styles, different subjects, add in different colors, and you can come up with some amazing designs. And this is actually a really cheap way of creating a logo, because if you went to someone to create one professionally for you, you could find that it could cost you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. So back to mid journey, and we're going to use this image top right. And I'm going to show you how to remove that text and banner at the bottom of the picture. We're going to add our own text and we're going to play around with the colors a bit. See if we can just spice things up, make it look a bit more vivid. So what we want to do is click on U2, which means upscale picture number two, and then just click on the image, right click, save image and save it to your computer. Next, we're going to head over to Canva. Now, we're going to be using Canva because it's easy to use. It's web based. And for what I'm going to show you how to do today, it's absolutely free. So top right, hit create a design, then custom size. And now we need to put in the size of our image. Now, this particular image from Mid Journey is 1024 pixels by 1024. So it's going to enter that, hit create new design. On the left hand side, hit upload, and then we just drag in our image that we downloaded from Midjourney. Once that's uploaded, just click on the image, drag to top left, and then drag down to bottom right. Okay, so now the way we're going to remove this banner and text at the bottom is quite simple. We're going to go over to elements on the left hand side, choose the square under lines and shapes, then we're just going to drag this down. Drag it across. Now, because this logo and text is on a, a relatively plain background area, we can do this quite easily. If that banner and text was over the image, like we saw on some of those other images on Mid Journey, it becomes a bit more complex. But for this, it's pretty simple. Now we need to change the color of this square. So at the top, hit the color button, then add a new color, click on the eyedropper, move over to our background, click on it, and it should change our square to the background color. And now the text and banner has disappeared. Okay, so the next step is to add some text to this image. So left hand side, click text, add subheading, drag that down. And we're going to call this brand Outdoor Press. Now I'm not sure if that's already a brand, but this is just an example. Outdoor Press. And we're going to change our font. So at the top, click on our drop down list for the fonts. And we're going to use this one here called Feeling Passionate. And we're going to enlarge that, move that to around the center. Now I like this particular font because it's a script font and it does have a little bit of an outdoorsy feel to it. At the top, click on text color. And good thing about Canva is that it will give us colors that are already in our image. And I want this darker purple color. Okay, now next I want to change the shape of our text. So at the top, click effects. At the bottom here, click curve. Now we can change the curvature of our text. And I just want a slight curvature upwards. And there's our basic logo finished. Now we can just play around with the colors in Canva. Now we are limited to what we can do here. At the top, hit edit photo. Then if we click on see all filters, and now we've got these choices here. And in fact, we can add, it's almost a filter to our logo, which will change the colors to some extent. Now it doesn't just change the color of the background, it also changes the color of our main image as well. And you'll see that it hasn't changed the color of this little square here, but we'll do that after we decide on, on what color we're going to pick. So you could choose one of these colors if you so wished, but what I'm gonna do is under Vivid, I'm gonna choose Zeal. This makes the image really sort of pop, makes it stand out. So we're going to change the color of this square. So at the top, click on the color button, add a new color, click on our dropper tool, anywhere over the background, and there we go, we have our logo. So next thing to do, is just download this to our computer. So hit share, download, leave that as PNG and hit download. So now this logo image is ready to use. So for instance, we could go to our Amazon Author Central account. Here is where you add your logo photo. Just hit add photo, drag in that image we downloaded and there we have our logo. Now we can change the size of that if we wish. 
and that's what would appear on your author central page and you just hit publish now if we were happy with the background color of our logo we could then use that to create a sort of longer logo banner if you like to do that go back to the home page and this time we're going to choose something of a different size 600 by 180 create new design left hand side click uploads then drag in our logo that we downloaded from canva click on it move it over to the left increase the size so now we want to change the color of our background so click on elements click on that square again just drag that over to the left just drag over to the right at the top click position and hit backward so now we want to change the color of our background so at the top click the color box add a new color I drop a tool again and just click on the background of our logo so now you can see we've got our banner here with our logo on the left hand side and on the right here you could add some text of your own so you can see that was relatively easy relatively fast and also a lot cheaper than getting a professional to create one of these so there's so much you can do with this and i think it's really exciting anyway thank you very much for your time if this has piqued your interest to creating books to publish on amazon then i suggest starting at this publishing book tutorials playlist where i go through the steps of creating a book and uploading it to the amazon platform again thank you very much for your time is very much appreciated don't forget to hit that subscribe button and until next time goodbye